Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to construct the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection. Now, if you look at the figure closely, it is displayed in first angle projection, meaning that the top here is the front elevation and the one under here is the plan right so if you look at the dimension we have there they are very large right and they will occupy a lot of space on our drawing sheet so what i'll simply do here is i'm going to reduce this measurement by drawing into scale i'll be using one is to two meaning half of the dimension right so wherever i see 150 right i'll divide it by two and that will give me 75, meaning here 75. And wherever I see 110, I'll place it to be what 55. And wherever I see 100, I'll make it to be 50. And when I, whenever I see 25, I'll put it to be what 12.5. Right? And what else again? And this is what we have here. So that's what I'll be using. So let's start. I will take my meter rule. Since we are told to draw in isometric, and one thing you should pay attention to is that we are given um, that we should make the isometric drawing of the given object position so that the corner marked A is the lowest point of the drawing, right? So first of all, let's draw our our um, isometric lines. I have this vertical. I also have this in this manner and also have this also in this manner at an angle of 30 degree right I'm using my C square you place it this way you draw this point and you turn it the other way around also and you draw this now this is the lowest point here A right so I'm going to measure from A to this side which is Looking at the elevation, the entire length is given to be 150, so I'll be using 75 as my measurement. Is that taken now? So from here, I'm going to measure 75 from 0 to 75. This is the 75 we have here. Can you see that? And the other one is 110, so from here, I'll measure what? 55. That is the width is 110. You're looking from the plan. So I use 55. Remember, I'm using half full size. So this will be what 55. Can you see that? And um, I'm going to project this point upward. So projecting this point upward, I'll be having this. And I'll project it upward too, I'll be having this. Then the height given here is given to be um, the height is given to be 110. Also, as you can see from the front elevation here, so because because the height and the length is gotten from the front elevation, and the width and the length gotten from what the plan. So I'll come to the elevation. The height is given to be also the same distance as this distance here, which is 55. From here to here, it's the same thing as same from here to here as by the push start. and I'm going to close the top so closing the top with my set square I will draw this out this box out I'll come here also I'll draw this box out and I'll close here too so you can see that now this is what we have here Again. and I can actually reduce it and see what we have right so I'll put this down that again so we'll start our measurement our drawing you can see that from this point to this point is from here to here and I'm going to what I'm going to take in that point from this point to A so taking it Similarly, 
from here to here is the height which is from here to here i've also taken it this way similarly from here in the in the plan from here to here is from here to somewhere around here i've also taken it you can see that then also from the plan from here to here also is from here to here i'm also taking it now the next thing again we have is a uh, is the thickness if i come to the plan this plan here you see we have a thickness here which is giving us 12.5 that is half of 25 right like i told you from the from the onset so I'll measure 12.5 here this is 10 11 12.5 you can see that then i'll bring it down faint line first then another faint line again to work with your 30 degrees square square so that means from here to here is thickened right i show the diagram which is from here to here is thickness here and I'll close it up and I'll also close it up you can see that now the next thing is from the base here since from here to here 25 meaning from here to here so 25 meaning from here to here 25 so I'll use half of it like I said earlier and that will be 12.5 right so I'm making you understand that the thickness from here to here is 12.5 and the same thing as saying 12.5 here so i'm going to take in that aspect too so from here this is 12.5 and i'm going to do that here too close it up you can see that and also at this point here too it's closed right i'll close it up too And then uh, I'll bring it in in this manner. I'll bring it to in this manner. Then I'll just draw it a little bit. I'll come back to it. Faint line. And if you look this, we brought out this shape here. But there's a web in between it. So I need to get the center of this figure so I can easily bring out my web, right? Since the figure there is 110, the half of it will be what? 55. So from 0 to it is, um, half of it will be 55 divided by 2. And when you divide 55 all over 2, you'll be having, um, so you'll be having 27.5. So 0, this is, um, 20, 25, 26, 27, and in between this is 27.5. You see that? In between 27.5. I'll just draw my line this way. I'll just draw a line this way. Faint line. And I'll draw another one this way. The reason is this. The thickness here, as you can see here, is given to be 25. So I'll use I'm working with half of it which was 12.5 right so i'll take half of it again so divide that 12.5 all over 2 again i will be having a six point i'll be having 6.25 right so i'll come here and i'll measure that so i can easily take 6.25 here right so I'll just come here. This is zero. This is five. This is six and six point two five will be somewhere around here. This is zero, five, six, six point two five will be in between six and seven. Can you see that? And I'll just from here taking this to this point. From here also. I'll use faint line first. 
right and here also taking this to this point right because it's touching the tip here you can see this one too faint line first can you see that but in this case it is not touching the end here as you can see in the diagram here so what i'll simply do right if this is 12.5 then from this point too you still have the same 12.5 here i'll close it up because they are all the same right that'll be 10.5 so i'll close it up here and um, i need to clean the, all this let me do that so i'll bring this from here to touch this and i'll bring this from here to touch this right and i'll close it up close here too I'll close your wires again. You can see that. And close all these edges you see here. These edges here. Right? So, uh, and the dimension is also important, also. So, this is what we have with the dimensioning. Is that taken? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.